Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Machine Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mala, and in this video, what we're gonna see is the internal structure of the controller. So let's go to the presentation. So this is the software, not the presentation. Now it's the presentation. So in the controller, the M221, M241, M251, and the M262, and other ones we have an internal destructor that give us more information about the real status of the controller so as you can see over here we we have this library se underscore plc system inside this library okay let me just hide myself inside this library just put the pen inside this library okay Depending on the controller, we have different folders and structure, but there is something in common in all of them, which is this one, PLC underscore GBL. Okay, this PLC underscore GBL have a lot of information, okay, but we are only focused in one, which is the PLC underscore R. So, this PLC GBL, okay includes several information as you can see below you have the plc underscore art which is the one that we're going to focus plc underscore w ethernet serial profiles blah 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 the same can be applied for the um m262 as you can see there are difference okay let's have profiles but the different variables that they can share between them okay so this is just an idea so we have this plc underscore gbl which is a huge structure that has this information okay and then the one that allows us to see what's really going on inside the plc is the one that is plc underscore r for romeo so if we dig more inside this plc underscore r we can see that we have this information let me just hide myself and here okay this is the information that we have in this structure okay this type of structure you can see that you have the vendor probably the this is not that relevant but you have this one status boot process and last stop cause system fault and AO status and also the clock check on the battery okay so you have this information available okay once you are for example in the watch or you add this variable in your program okay so this one the important one plc underscore r iw status which is the status of the controller okay this is the the enumerator that he's using okay so depending on the value that he has it gives us the this enumerator okay and you can see over here that you can find it, the status of the controller it's empty stop running hold or breakpoint okay you can find this information and here is how you can use it in your call. So you just need to use plc underscore r dot, and then you will see all the variables that you have, and then you just select the IW status. Okay, this value can be moved. For example, if you want to share that with an HMI or something, you can move this to another variable, and you can see here it used the actual word for running, for example, and it's the value two okay so this is how you can use part of the variables okay in this case the plc underscore uh, r iw status and some of the variables has already some address okay that i'm going to show you but this is something you know that you need to know so another variable that we have let me just hide myself over here is the status of the boot project so basically the boot uh, how I want to display this part. Uh, so, in the controller, we have like um, the volatile and non volatile area. Okay. So, in the non volatile area, okay, our boot process is going to be in there. So, when the PLC boots up, it moves, it, it moves, or copy the boot project okay to the 
volatile area and this volatile area is the one that run the program okay so if we don't have this boot project the plc doesn't have anything to run okay so there is no program so that's why it's important to check this status i need to check the status the one we need is this one which is valid boot project okay if it has this value everything's fine so let's continue with this part so this is how you can check okay so uh doo -doo -doo -doo. valid number project doo -doo -doo, different progress so you can check if this w put project status is equal to zero is it here or is it has this value in order to execute an alarm it could be an system alarm so uh, on the HMI you can show that uh, the boot project is missing uh, or is different so you can um, make the proper actions here and it has this memory address now we also have this IW last stop cause that give us an idea what was the last stop cause on the controller okay uh, this information is totally in the in the programming guide okay for the plc and score r you can find it for each of the controllers okay just bear with me a second and there we go i was trying to find this so if you go for example to the machine expert online help in this case m262 system library guides and then you can find all this but you can have the access to the plc underscore r you can see here you have the complete definition of everything that you need to do something important to take a look here is that some of the drivers have a modbus address okay others no so the one that has you can easily share that with another system without um without using the additional software in the plc or additional code in order to share this information to an hmi so let's continue with the presentation okay already show you this part what you need to do is uh, what you need to know is you have the plc underscore gbl that has a huge structure and inside that plc underscore um, gbl you have this plc underscore r that allow you to see in details which is the actual status of the controller this information can be also accessed via the web server of the plc if it's in, uh, already enabled you just need to go to the agnostic and you can see more of the same information in a different way so uh ready to spread this part da, da, da. we also have last application error okay it's the same as the as i show you in the manual in the online help it's the same as just put it in um in a table okay but it's the same what you need to check is the value and then in the value if you want you can add for example in an hmi a list or a convert if you're using a proto terminal expert and now what i want to show you is how does it work in a real uh, controller so uh, da, 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 let's open this so what i'm going to do now is to connect with the m262 um okay i have this m262 over here I'm going to download this but first i need to get rid of the simulation okay going to connect alt f uh, here i use this one from the previous videos okay run let's see what's the behavior <laughs> okay so how to load the program so now what i can do is to start the plc so if we have a watch okay what we can do is to add sec okay which is the namespace for the library dot plc underscore gbl okay there is over there you can select it and then enter once you're doing this you should be able to see the complete list of the information that we are able to use 
So PLC underscore R. Okay, you can see PLC running, but it will project. Still recent deeds, application or the watchdog. Okay, you can this information, and if you want, you can share that with a screen or another device. Okay, so this is how you can access and have an overview of what's going on in the controller. So let me just check something here. What I want to show you now is the web server. Okay, so I'm going to advance. Okay, ATA. ATA in this case, login. And if you go to the agnostic, you have controller and it's the same information. Okay, so if if you have access to the to the web server or you know the API of the controller, this is one way to do it. Okay, just, just go over here and you, then you can see the same information and additional information about the ports, the expansions, okay, everything should be in here. Okay, so this is one way to do it. You have it in this way, so you can use it in your software, okay? Otherwise, you can use the, the web server. So, what I want to show you is how you can share this information to an HMI. So, I have already made this kind of... Uh, example project just bear with me i need to open the operator terminal expert yep just wait for this to open this in the other side it's the other side now yeah yeah so i have made this example project okay that basically it just um access to those information in the PLC and the score R that allow you to easily read the data without executing or doing more code in the PLC. So I have to find a driver here, a mode of TCP driver, and I'm pointing to the IP address of the controller, the M262. Um, and then here I have manually add the variables, okay? And they're pointing to the right information as I showed you before over here, okay, to these positions that I have. So I've been doing some contents that shows the information, okay, in an easy way. So you can easily add this um this content, okay, with the contents that I have the converters so it allows you to identify what's going on with the controller and the good thing is that uh, in the way that i'm doing this you can easily uh, reduce the size of this and you can still read in what is in there so if i just check here i have two controllers over here so i have a m251 and the m262 so I'm going to test this with the M262 and then with the M251 so you can see the different things. So I'm going to simulate this. I could also download to a target, but I'm going to do it in this way. So uh, da, 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 this is in the other one. Okay, so this is the M262. Okay, I'm connected to the M262. And here you can see they are reading some information from the controller. Okay, there is also a fancy way to show the data if you collapse. You just cover everything in case you want it. Okay, collapse everything. Uh, display, collapse, display, collapse. Okay, so it just shows you the different information that you have in the PLC and the score R, but in a graphical way in the HMI without access to the web server or to the... Um, to the PLC underscore R if you don't have the the machine expert software. Okay, so this is one way to do it. Now, now I have a, a M26 M251 in the same network. So instead of creating another HMI for this, I just change the IP address of this. That can also be done if you have a hardware manager. If you have this, so simulate. And instead of seeing the N25 and two six two, I should be able to see the N251. So I'll show you over here. Now let me just uh, put this in a stop. Okay, 
and you can see the PLC that I have on the bench is in a stop and you can see there are some uh, the whole application is valid a stop required by the controller switch so if I put it in run the PLC is running again okay I didn't show you the PLC but you saw the different application status over there so um, this is how you can access to the different internal variables of the controller okay so you will need to pay attention on how to access to the data of, okay of the controller okay remember using the plc uh, underscore gbl in a watch so you can have a huge information in there to see it as a controller okay let me just connect to the controller once again you have the plc w okay that depend on the for example depending on the value that you have over here you can um you can stop or run the controller okay which is good so let me just double check if i know what to do it uh okay so uh in order to do this you just need to prepare a value over here so it's gonna be six six nine nine okay and then i can stop the plc with this command so i'm going to write this value and the plc is in stop okay so i'm going to access the value zero again and then i'm going to send the command run i believe uh my value i need to change it needs to go from zero to this value in order to change and then it needs to go from zero to that value again in order to go run so uh six six nine nine so uh hopefully now you should be able to make the pills and run okay so if you share this with the um, with an hmi you can make a stop and run using software okay and there is also another values here there's a call a recent one so you probably can do this okay there's a call person one using these these commands okay just to show you and then you have the ethernet reading okay it has a hundred information over here without uh reset serial okay depend on the control you have different parts over here okay but you have the information ready to use but the most important right now is to take a look on the status they and the boot project and then if you need to know what's going on before you just need to go to the stop calls and application error system fault IO status the one that i shared on the hmi application so this is it for the plc underscore r to have a overview this is it thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one